Hello YouTubers and fellow collectors, Nanny D back with the last chapter of probably the craziest movie collectibles collection you've ever seen. This is the vault with all the super treasures. So let me take you on a journey of absolute madness. Let's start here with this beautiful life-size alien resurrection piece. Look at this. Wow, this thing is huge. Lord of the Rings. And look at this beast. Wow. It's a life size. Werewolf. got a, a couple of swords over here David Bowie from the movie Labyrinth Harrison Ford life-size Han Solo more swords screaming Hellraiser figures painted by myself <laughs> sold to Roman a long time ago more swords and canes you gotta excuse me guys if I can't capture all the details there's so much stuff in here it would take probably a week to film everything and all details but just to give you a little impression of this beautiful collection. Look at this maquette from the Alien 3 movie. Beautiful. Right away here we have Master Yoda life-size. Then we got here the Smeagol. Michael Jackson thriller and uh, this one seems to be the helmet from Troy it's like a remote controlled Yoda hmm? remote controlled Yoda oh Yoda, Roman just told me that Yoda is remote controlled so he's moving the eyes and the ears? yeah, eyes, mouth, opens mouth okay, awesome yeah, then here we got a couple of busts also this Old screaming model kits. Spider-Man hangs here. All right, here we got also something special. Wow, this is a beautiful life-size bust from uh, Howard S. Studios. Excellent work. stuff very cool All right, what we got down here that's the Terminator 3 maquette That's a beautiful piece.
Oh, some bust. And right over here. I don't even know from what movie that is. Whoa, that looks ugly. Chest burster. Alright, here. More life size bust from Terminator. I think that's also Howard S. I think a Velociraptor from Jurassic Park, life size. And here we got a life size alien from Alien Resurrection. Robocop costume. And that's what we see here in the background. I'm going to show you a little bit more details later on. That's the original cast from the Alien Queen, life-size. Imagine that. Incredible stuff. The bat wing. Wow, this Alien Queen looks sick. in the background also the chest burster here from the original molds that looks pretty pretty awesome beautiful work oh now we got here mummy we gotta be careful not to bump into something That's an amazing bust. Original critters. It's also pretty sick. Here we have some alien heads from the original casts and molds. Two original alien costumes. And uh, Roman just told me these are actually two original alien costumes. That's from the second movie, right? From Aliens. But this one is complete. Wow, check this out. These are actually costumes used in the movie. Wow. Some more life-size stuff. Face huggers everywhere. This is from the original Poltergeist 2. Vomit creature arm from Geeker. Steve Johnson did. All right. The T Rex cat. That's a funny bust. Bob from Is it Day of the Dead? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, from Evil Dead too. And the right from Evil Dead, right? This one is an original Compi dinosaur from Jurassic Park 2. The little one, the dead one. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Batman costume. This one is also really cool. It's the original shoes from Forrest Gump. Oh wow, check this out. These were actually the shoes that uh, 
Tom yeah, Hanks. Tom Hanks, yeah, man. I forgot his name. He won in the movie, original. Wow. Additional yeah. Terminator. Also used in the movie? Yeah. One of the battle scenes in the first, in the second Holy Terminator. shit. That's real Hollywood movie stuff here, folks. No fucking replicas. That's the real deal. Spider-Man. Do you? Hmm? The original sketches from Giger. Oh, wow. Yeah, three sketches. That's pretty awesome. So these are original sketches yeah. from Giger, given to Roman as a present because he knows Giger. Uh, this is for any Giger fan, a dream. <laughs> Let's keep moving. We got some Star Wars life size stuff. Wow, you call this thing here? Speeder bike. Speeder bike, life size. I'm just waiting till Roman shows me he has a battleship somewhere in the garage. <laughs> Little ET down here. Back there we have Godzilla. Some Don't more seat. masks. Oh yes, sit. Now sit. that's the highlight of the collection. Sit, sits. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a custom piece. I think only two or three of them were made. What we got here? It's uh, another, it's werewolf. another werewolf. Yeah. The original Judge Dredd. We have here some it's original T-shirts from Alien Three. And three. And Then we got here the Mean Machine, that's an original yeah. prop it's from a the movie. costume actually. A costume? With okay. uh, facial, facial prosthetics, but uh, the bodysuit, it's like a suit, you can wear it. It's ah, a okay. cast of the actor below. Wow, that's awesome. This is also pretty cool here, Spider Gremlin. This is really, really rare. Very rare collectible, only a few got produced in Japan. The spider gremlin. Yeah, from gremlins too. Looks sick. And over there is uh, one of the original Green Goblin helmets. Also used in the movie? Yeah. And that's really cool down there. This original maquettes from the running Alien 3 uh, sculpted by Giger. There's still the clay sculptures from his aliens. Wow, Roman has some Giger originals in his collection, ladies and gentlemen. So. That's the man. Then here we got the Kill Bill motorcycle costume. That's some toys. This is original Fuhuo dragon from the Never Ending Story. It's uh, original paw. Oh, okay, cool. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. <laughs> and now here, check this out. This is the original cast from the Alien Queen. How sick is that? This is also cool. It's about 10 foot tall, 10 feet tall and I don't know, maybe 20 feet long. Just crazy stuff. This is the original sentry gun panel from Aliens that Bishop is controlling the, the guns, the sentry guns. Oh, okay. The original from, from Dusk, Dusk Till Dawn. Dawn, one yeah. of the vampires. Yeah. And this is actually an original Predator 2 suit. The bodysuit is original from Predator 2. Okay, probably Just used that, in the stunts or the something. Hand, the, ha uh, the, head, the head and the arms are replicas, but the rest of the suit is original. That's okay. also pretty. Yeah, already. probably used for one of the stunts. Wow, that's a sick Lost Boys. David Keither Sutherland bust. And this is also cool. This is the original stasis tube, one of the three. And this one actually is the one where Burke gets attacked. There is a hole in the back where they had the, a, a little rod where they pushed the face against oh, okay. the window when they filmed it. Okay. Wow. 
you got some movie history stuff in here. Wow, here another life-size alien from Alien 3. Beautiful. This is the original Jingle All The Way costume from Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> okay. And this is the original ape costume from Rick Baker from uh, Greystoke, the Tarzan movie with Christophe Lambert. Oh, sick. And down here we get Indiana Jones. And the original species costume. Wow, that's awesome. Look at this. That's the costume worn in the movie, huh? Yeah, that's in this. In One of them. The exact attack scenes. Okay. When there was actually a woman wearing it when there was no CGI. Wow. This is the advantage if you have a friend named Giger. <laughs> and these are all original buildings from Headley's Hope. Also really cool. And that Nostromo tire is from Alien 1. Original. Okay. Yeah, at that time they had to build models. And this chest plate here, this is from Terry English who did the armor for Aliens for the movie. It's personally signed on the back of it. Wow. So, this is uh, for all Clive Barker fans, the original Narcissus head from the, that was cut from the movie. I don't know if it's in the new cut from Cabal Nightbreed. Oh, yeah. And uh, also the mechanical head. The Berserker from the same movie, one original maquette, and this is also an original bust from Nazis with some facial prosthetics. So these are the prosthetic they he wore and then put on the live cast from the actor. So you can still see here it's foam latex. Yeah, sick stuff. This is from Brian Usnas from Beyond here. Right. And that one is pretty cool. It is the original. Baby Selvin puppets oh, there yeah, from, from Peter Jackson from Brain Dead. Brain Dead, yeah. Cool. Yeah, we got a lot of models and yeah. Terminator stuff. Look at Arnie back there. Cool. This is cool here. This is a yeah. silicon life size uh, oh, yeah. bust from Jack Nicholson as Wolf. Wow, that looks really sick. Check this out. Yeah. Scary and shit. This one, this one here. This one is this from Fright Night? No, no, that was from uh, Get Shorty. Okay. Actually, which is not a horror movie, but it <laughs> yeah. was in the in the movie. And this one is really cool. This is the original. This is a one of a kind. They usually they build several originals, but this is the only one. This is the boot from uh, that hits the van in Alien Three when uh, Charles Dance discovers this boot and he's holding it. He says, "Who's missing? Oh, right. It must be him. It's his boot." And that's also cool. It's a space jockey maquette directly from Peter Woisey, who sculpted the original one. And uh, he even signed it on the bottom. I visited visited him when he was still alive. Right. And this wow. one is a original prosthetic from Event Horizon. You can blow in there, and the wings will stand out. Okay. Wow! Really, a lot of movie history in here. This one here is really cool. There's some really cool stuff. This is the original long tongue from Aliens from the Alien Queen. This is the original rubber stunt tongue from Aliens. And this is an original piece of Alien Tail from the first movie. And this actually is an original glove from the first Alien movie from Giger. And this is uh, the original um, mechanical face saga. I think it was one of the few. They only made one or two of them uh, from the scene, from the lab scene from Aliens. Right. And this one is... Uh, this one is the original Alien Queen tail yeah, please, yeah. that comes out of Bishop's chest and this is really rare, nobody has this. Uh, I didn't fix them on the original costumes, these are the elbow, original elbow pieces that goes on, this, on the suits. On the, for, on the aliens, yeah. right? And these are some alien hair arms, spare arms from Alien 1 that were created and this is also an original face hugger, floppy one, the one that is, she threw to the wall right, right. in the lab scene. Wow. Here are some original down here. Just hang on a second. Let me catch here. Whoa, here we got an awesome predator bust. And another alien, alien bust. Alien 3. This is also 
This one is uh, one of the babies from the Alien Resurrection, from the right. clones and uh, Alien Resurrection bus. This one is really cool. This is a, a this is from the live cast. This is a silicon bust with the original eye prosthetics from uh, Darth Maul from Star Wars. Cool. And down here we have some original guns from Star Wars. Wow, used in the movies. From Naboo, yeah, Naboo guns, cool. Naboo fighters, and some uh, studio scale models from the Tie Fighter and the uh, X-wing. Wow. Look, check this out. This is pretty this sick. Is custom made, uh, custom made face hugger on the lab table. Wow. And this here is also pretty cool. It's from the original molds from the newborn from Alien Resurrection. Oh yeah. And this one is the original Chris Hall's uh, maquette when he was sculpting the Alien Three rod. Right. Puppet. Right. In that position, and the alien queen, another alien queen. Head wow, check head. this here another alien queen life size head. That thing is huge. Looks like a fucking boat. <laughs> this one is really nice. It's oh, a yeah, silicon it's a Bobby uh, C. Bobby Bob Cosy, exactly. Yeah, Joker. beautiful. One okay. third scale. Very, very nice. And some nice Planet of the Apes stuff back there. Oh yeah. All silicon busts? Uh, no. But with real rooted hair. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, fellas, that's about it 22 minutes and I only touched surface now as I told you I probably could film for a week in here do you film this one the original Star Destroyer oh. this is a original a model this is a, a oh. been used yeah from Star Wars okay from the first movie yeah wow that's back in the days when they have hadn't have all this special effects yeah. bullshit they had to build all these models incredible yeah beautiful Oh man, there's so much stuff everywhere. As I said, I probably could film for a week in here. But yeah, just to give you an impression of one of the sickest and most beautiful movie collectibles collections in the world. I hope you had a cool trip. See you around and keep collecting. Bye bye.